when it comes to what I call veils, they have been just as fascinating to me as orbs, if not more so. I'm not going to get into the dust, bug, pollen, and moisture factor in this video because there are other videos on the subject, and it is very obvious that veils are not any of these, but are energy. In the first few pictures, these shots were taken off my TV while watching a show being filmed in with infrared night vision, and that is what causes the green color. I chose these pictures to show the parallel capturing of the energy from strong lights, creating outlines identical to energy builds taken both in the daytime and at night, submitted to me by Patty and Debbie, two of my friends who share their pictures with me and are the largest contributors to the albums on the ethereal site. It has been my theory for a long time now that this phenomena is a result of energy either take, just taking orb form or captured while dissipating because when they are caught, there are always orbs in or near the veils or vice versa. Infrared can capture a lot that we cannot see with our eyes, like the emanating of the energy from a bright light. So we know from the pictures that energy is creating what I shall call veils. So the question arises, what can cause these to be captured in the daytime or even at night when there is no bright light to reflect? The answer here is fluorescence. The many quantum physicists of today that are working with a continuation of consciousness believe that an orb has light energy within itself and shows the emission of electromagnetic radiation stimulated by the absorption of an incident radiation, a camera flash in these cases. Collins' discovery encyclopedia explains fluorescence from a physics perspective as, number one, the emission of light or other radiation from atoms or molecules that are bombarded by particles such as electrons or by radiation from a separate source, bombarding the bombarding radiation produces excited atoms, molecules, or ions, and these emit photons as they fall back to the ground state. Two, such an emission of photons that ceases as soon as the bombarding radiation is discontinued. And three, such an emission of photons for which the average lifetime of the excited atoms and molecules is less than about 10 to 8 seconds. Although this explains the science behind what is occurring, it does not prove that this energy is a spirit, but it does explain to an extent why an orb will show up with one click of the camera, but nothing will show up in the next photo. To try to prove the spirit energy theory, we still have to turn to experiences such as the ones on this site, as well as the tremendous experiments being done by the scientific community such as capturing pictures, videos, EVPs, temperature and vibration fluctuations, and EMF spikes that should not occur. As the veil, so to speak, becomes thinner and technology improves, we are well on our way. For those who believe this is only more proof, and for those who are skeptics, at least they cannot claim this phenomenon as bugs, dust, pollen, or moisture, and may want to concentrate a little more on energy.